Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah Olson and I love posting about motherhood, homemaking, and homeschooling topics. I live in Minnesota with my husband and our three kids and today I wanted to share with you how we organize our apartment toys. So when I say our apartment toys, we live in two locations throughout any given year due to my husband's job. So these are the toys and this is the way that I choose to organize our toy collection here at our apartment. I try to keep it pretty minimal. We're not minimalist by any means, but I definitely try to keep it simple so it's more manageable for all of us. So now I'll walk you through our main categories of toys here at the apartment and how we sort and organize all of them. So this is just a six cube organizer that I got from Target a few years ago or a couple years ago and it has held up really well for us. As you can see, you can see everything that is in the bins here. Um, I prefer it that way. I think it helps the kids know where to put things when they're cleaning up, even though it does make things look a little more busy. So it's kind of whatever your preference is for that. I think that if we keep it pretty well organized like this, even though it looks a little busy, it still works out just fine for our family. Okay, I'll just start going from left to right to show you everything that we've got here. This, in this soft basket from Target, we've got a little build your own or construct your own remote control truck set from that Soren got from his aunt. So that's super fun. I just keep it in this little basket so he can dump it out and use all the parts for that. Then over here we've got this cute little coin slot box so it's just a little drawer and you put this wooden coin in super super fun for like toddlers and babies but um, my older kids like Sophie and Soren who are five and three they love playing you know pretend or make believe these are coins these are all sorts of things when they are pretending so I've just kept this out I've kept this around and soon before we know it Svea will be using it to mail little coins in the slot we've got these little plastic play cups which are so fun for stacking and pretending with Soren got this from another of his aunts for Christmas and he loves it. It's just these little, it's like a mini tool set and all the different screws and stuff you can adjust. He loves playing with that. Okay, then down here we've got one of our main categories of toys, which is our magnetiles. Those are a huge favorite in our family. Uh, the kids pull these out and play with them all the time, especially Soren. We have multiple sets of magnetiles in here from various Christmases and birthdays. That's kind of a go-to toy for us. So actually, our family lives in two locations throughout every year, and when we move back to our house, this is the apartment, of course, when we move back to our house, I do pack up magnetiles. That is a category of toys that comes with us. And then moving up here, we've got a sturdy set of, well, they're well-loved, too, of these cardboard um, cubes, kind of open cube containers. The kids use them as containers, or they can make a tower or stack with them, all sorts of things. We've got a mailbox, which is great for pretend play. This was from my grandma for Sophie and Soren. We've got nesting stars. These are really fun for the kids to play with too. And then over here, we've got our container of, or our collection of hex bugs. If you haven't heard of hex bugs, they're like these tiny battery operated bugs. Soren has saved up. This is his broken scorpion, but um, he saved up with his penny reward system to get various hex bugs. These run around. They're really, really fun, kind of creepy if you don't like insects very much, but so fun, especially if you make a little um, container or track or house for them out of magnetiles. And then coming down here, we've got our random toys bin. This is what I call our random toys bin, and the kids know it as that for when we are cleaning up. So I'll show you what's in here, even though it is random. So our random toys bin has things like this little guy, which is like a finger puppet. I've got this keys and locks set that Soren really likes. He's really into keys and tools, you know, things like that right now, so he's really enjoyed these. We've got Soren's little wooden pistol and holster that he got from a, like, a historic festival that we have in Minnesota here. Here's a cute little wooden dog that you can pull, and this is something Soren got a long time ago, but um, the kids really still enjoy pretending it's a pet of theirs. Then we've got this apple and worm. You can see the worm on the end there. It's one of those string lacing things. Really fun. We got this from a thrift store and the kids like it. Soren's really into knots right now, so he tied knots in it. I'll have to work on those. 
We've got this fun wooden camera that we've had for a long time. Some little foam balls that came with a slingshot set. This is Soren's measuring tape, one of those poppet bracelets. And then I like to have actually several empty containers or pouches for the kids. They seem to use these all the time as they're pretending and playing. So we've got a cup, we've got a bowl, and just another of those like dollar section kinds of containers. Here's a light up squishy ball. Sometimes we keep various squishy toys. This is a Paw Patrol squishy toy in here. And then we've got one of these. Actually, we have one of these in our grab and go toys bin too. Another measuring tape and a koosh ball. And then Soren has really enjoyed collecting these Eric Carl. It's actually a matching like memory card game set. And we lost the box long ago, but Soren has always loved these. And the kids just pretend these are all sorts of things. So I have kept these. We just, the rule is that we put them away into this bag in the random toys bin. So those are all of our random toys. You can see they don't have a particular category, so I do just like having one bin that is for random stuff. Where we've run into trouble in the past is when every bin is for random stuff and random toys. So that's what I try to focus on having is just one spot that has, you know, this weird variety of items in it, but I don't let it get to pass to this point because then it's a free for all. And then we can't find any toys and the kids just kind of end up dumping out all six bins. And then here we've got our vehicles bin. That's pretty self-explanatory, I think. Um, just a lot of cars and trucks and pretty much anything with wheels goes into the vehicles bin. All right, this bin looks kind of like a random toys bin but it's not really. It's basically just for our viewfinders, which I can show you if you haven't seen those before. I grew up with them too, so it's fun for the kids to have those. That's our viewfinders and then also these um, car tracks. So I'll pull this out. So these viewfinders are such a nostalgia toy for me and for my husband. Um, oh, I guess it's called a viewmaster. I don't know, I've always called it a viewfinder, but you just place this little film thing. I don't know what to call it, a film strip almost. Um, in it and then you view it. <laughs> That's why it's called a viewfinder and you press down the little lever on the side and it rotates to a different animal or something. So it's really fun for pretend play as well as just entertainment. And then for Christmas last year, I got Soren a bunch of these orange, um, I guess, matchbox car tracks. This one has a little jump, but mostly they're these flat pieces that hook together pretty easily. And we have stairs here at our apartment. So the kids like to run their cars down the stairs. This is something I grew up doing too at my grandparents' house. And we do keep a few of those smaller, I don't know if these are all like matchbox cars, but the smaller cars to go with the track in here. Next, we've got our medical kits. We have two now because this was a one we got from the zoo. It's an ocean veterinarian kit and then our regular doctor's medical kit. I will try to link this one below um, in the description box if I can find it. It might be a combination by this point of two different medical kits we've had over the years. But anyway, medical kits are such a fun pretend to play item for kids. So we love keeping those in here. And then another main category of toys for us is Schleich Animals. So that's a German brand, I believe, that is just these hard animal toys. They are very realistic looking and we've used them for birthday parties, for Christmas gifts. The kids often get these for Christmas gifts, all sorts of things. And you can make a zoo, you can make a zoo with magnetiles. It's a really great type of toy to have around. I do have a bag in here of some wooden animals that just helps me to kind of subdivide it a little bit. But basically I like to stick to general toy categories. If you get too specific, it's really hard for, I think, young kids to understand. And then when you're tired at the end of the day, you probably don't want very specific categories to be putting everything back into, or at least that's the case for me. So we've got basically the category of Schleich animals or these hard animal toys, then vehicles and magnetiles. Those are our three main categories that I would say come with us when we uh, move for half of the year to another location. The magnetiles, the vehicles, and the animals, or at least most of them, come with us because they're just such a fun main category of toy. And I think it keeps it pretty simple here. And we just, we love these categories of toys. They have been so good for us, so versatile, and the kids are constantly playing with them. And then off to the right of our organizer here, we've got just a little wooden puzzle. I couldn't find the last piece today, but I still wanted to film this video quick during my kids' quiet time. And then we've got a wooden train, so that's always been a fun one just to have around. 
And then over here we've got a basket of baby toys for Svea. Svea is our third child and she is about two months old now. So I always, with babies, have had a basket, just a soft basket from Target, out with the toys that are good for their age. So she's got her tummy time book. And then we call this her crinkle paper. It's like a crinkly fabric thing. I've just found that babies love these and Soren had one he loved so much, so this is Svea's. And then just a couple other little toys and crinkle books. This is a little book set from, um, it's called Paper Pie now, but it's Usborne books. So yeah, even Svea has her little toy area. These are called Logoberg blocks and they are kind of, they're like more, I don't know, more options than Lincoln Logs. So I'll show you real quick. They have notches in them, and then this booklet here has some ideas of things you can build. So this was a Christmas gift from my parents for Sophie and Soren. So the kids have enjoyed building things with Logo Berg. That's just what my family calls them. It's like wooden blocks, but the brand is called Logo Berg, so that's what we call those. So yeah, we keep those in a bin just off to the right, so it's still within the main toy section. And then we have this sweet build your own flower garden set. It's really fun. It was a gift from uh, my sister for Sophie one year and we've really enjoyed it. The kids love pretending they're growing things and bringing me flowers from their garden or displaying it outside of a pretend house that they've made for themselves. The reason I am sitting over here is because we keep this on the other side of the couch, but overall that is pretty much it for our apartment toys. I think this system works so well for our family. It's a lot more feasible and easy to maintain when it comes to cleanup time. And obviously in this apartment, which is a two bed, two bath apartment for our family of five, we do not have a designated play room or play space. So whatever systems I came up with for toys, it was either going to be chaotic or manageable. And so I think this has worked really well for our family. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if it was helpful to you to see how we organize our toys because that tells me to make more videos like this. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow along with me over on Instagram at Hannah B. Olson. Hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you're at and I'll see you guys in my next one. Mm -hmm.